Ex-defense official says UFOs pose a vital national security threat. Authored by Max Slavo via SHTF plan, it's on Zero Hedge by Tyler Durden. According to a top ex-defense official, the United States is not the only nation that has struggled to explain UFO sightings. Not only have the sightings been happening worldwide, but Christopher Mellon, a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, says the unidentified flying objects, the UFOs, pose a vital national security threat, quote-unquote. According to a report by the New York Post, Mellon said that the U.S. Navy pilots who recently reported seeing UFOs on a nearly daily basis in 2014 and 2015 have legitimate concerns about their time on Earth. In numerous interviews, Navy pilots have revealed that they have seen UFOs moving at hypersonic speeds, performing acts beyond the physical limits of a human crew, and emitting no visible engine or infrared exhaust plumes. The speeds that were being reported by Navy pilots about 5,000 miles per hour, according to Mellon, that's Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, were only sustainable for about an hour by an aircraft in the air, and these objects would be flying around all day at that speed, the pilot said. Pilots observed these craft, observing the craft, are absolutely mystified, and that comes through clearly in their public statements, Mellon continued. And he says, they're deeply frustrated, and that is the core of our show, Mellon said in an interview with Fox and Friends on Fox News Wednesday, where he pushed his forthcoming History Channel series titled Unidentified, which looks into the UFO phenomenon. Mellon is also concerned about UFO sightings and he's begging the government to take action. He says, we know what that means, war. He said, we know that UFOs exist. This is no longer an issue. The issue is, why are they here? Why are they coming from, where are they coming from? And what is the technology behind these devices that we are observing? A Super Hornet pilot once said he almost collided with one of these objects and the fear of UFOs amplified. The pilot described the object he nearly missed as a sphere encased in a cube. An official report was filed and the incident shattered the previous theory by Navy pilots that the objects were a part of some sort of extremely classified drone operation. Mellon explained these are reactions between intelligently controlled vehicles operating in and around U.S. military facilities, sent, hence the concern. And one of the uh, previous videos on this, I just posted a couple of hours ago, uh, one of the pilots said that these uh, UFOs, the uh, cube is, uh, encased in a sphere, did something astonishing to really intimidate two uh, Navy fighter pilots who were, fly who were flying in a coordination with each other only 100 feet apart. Their wings were only 100 feet apart. And it came and flew right in between them. It sat there and flew at their speed right in between them. I mean, you can imagine the shock of these pilots. And uh, that was obviously a, a, an act of intimidation, saying, you know, I'm in here right in your face. What are you going to do about it, type of thing. Whether you like it or not, we're here and we can do anything we want. I mean, that is unbelievable. So uh, the Super Hornet pilot once uh, said he almost collided with them, as we said. Now, uh, one, there have been near mid-air collisions, so there is a safety issue. Two, there is a vital national security issue, which is that our sovereignty is being violated by vehicles of unknown origin, he continued. Never mind our individual sovereignty is being violated daily by the government. UFOs, who have taken exactly zero rights away, are the problem if you ask guys like Mellon. Terry Lovelace, a 64-year-old lawyer and a former assistant attorney general, has written a book about his experience with UFOs. Quote, in 2012, a routine x-ray of my leg 
found an anomalous bit of metal the size of a fingernail with two tiny wires attached. What followed were horrific nightmares, spontaneous recall, and intrusive thoughts surrounding a 1977 camping trip I took with a friend to Devil's Den State Park in northern Arkansas. For fear of losing my job and my standing in the legal community, I have kept this secret for 40 years. But the 2012 discovery of this object, one and a half inches deep in my thigh, initiated a flood of nightmares I could not control, end quote, says the description of his book, Incident at Devil's Den. So, okay, they have superior flight capabilities. Uh, also, uh, one of the pilots saw that they were also able to dive directly into the water and uh, direct themselves underwater just as easily as they do above water in the atmosphere. And uh, it seems that they could do things to humans, for example, uh, chip them somehow, implant some kind of a device in them, either uh, track them or control them, or I don't know, I don't know what. I mean, geez, this is, this is once you open, this, this is a Pandora's, I think this is going to be a huge Pandora's box is going to be opening now. What do you think? Once they're going to start getting into this and probing, there's going to be a lot of uh, details coming out, I'm sure. Because a lot of people that have seen them that have not come forward to uh, tell their stories, to witness as to what has, they have experienced, are going to come out now and uh, give their reports. It's uh, bewildering, mind-boggling. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.